Hey guys, in this video I'm gonna go and uh, look for locations for my candy machines and I'm gonna talk a little bit about locator services and if they're worth it. Is there the manager here or anyone? Is that you? I have like candy machines that I go around and place. They're like small candy and gumball machines. You can get one right here if you want. Hmm? Sure. This one and uh, he said go ahead and install it he asked me who maintains it uh, how much is gonna cost him I guess people are more worried about you know am I getting into some trap how often I'm gonna maintain it things like that but you know let's get it Candy machines, so we're just like going around and placing into places. They're like small candy machines. Okay, let me talk to the owner and see if she can. Okay, she's here. Okay, just do your, your, your thing first. Okay. I can wait. Oh. Two. <laughs> I don't know about those uh, uh, services that find locations for you, but I mean, again, I'm not saying it's going to be like that the whole day, but two out of two, and it's a restaurant right next to my house, not on the other side of town, like most uh, locators find. You go around asking them if they want the machine? You want? Yeah. So yeah. you go around like asking them? I have a lot of machines and I do other things as well. I need to go one day and just drive around. And All right. Account number two out of two. Let's go to the next one. My card to one barber shop they call the owner they don't speak much english uh, they're hispanic hey kitty and then the next stop account number four that i asked now i'm going to install another machine so i did not install that one of the ladies there they're french from south africa or west africa she was like yelling in french for something and i couldn't realize why she was keep saying problem problem like it's some type of problem I asked her if she has them, like, you know, ma'am, if you have any question, I can answer it. There's no, this is not a vending machine or anything, per permits for it. But I'm like, if you're more comfortable, just give me a call. And I gave her my card. She said she's going to call me and that she doesn't have any problem with me. So we're going to the next plaza. Uh, the rest of the uh, women there, they were like, yeah, put it in, put it in, put it in. And, <laughs> but she was very upset about something. I'm like, you seem upset. She's like, no, I'm not. Okay, cool. I'm almost on their period. All right, guys, I'll be heading home. I'm super tired and it's actually 6 p.m., 6.20, but the traffic was barely moving. Um, to get to the next plaza, it took me seven minutes. So I'm gonna cut it off today and I'm gonna talk a little bit more about uh, locator services. But as you can tell, it's not that hard. All right, guys, let's talk about location services. ATM location services or candy machine or vending machine location services. Let's start with the candy machine location services. How much does it cost? What's my experience with it? So usually they cost about $40 per location. And if your machines make $10 a month, this is basically uh, four months per location. Um, I gave two companies a request for 10 machines each. And I explained to both of them, I'm using somebody else as well. And if it goes well, I'm going to pick whoever will continue to work with me because I have 76 machines. Currently, I think I've placed 25 because I just came back. I placed two. Uh, I asked four locations. I placed two, as you saw into the video before. Um, they both got my, uh, uh, the ones that didn't want to place one, they, they got my uh, uh, business card. And the second location was kind of weird. The lady was screaming, it's weird. But anyways, they asked me for a zip code. I told them, you know, my zip code that is it's a pretty big area. So far, they have found me only one. All of them have found me only one location with my zip code uh, or maybe two. I think, yeah, one company found me one with my zip code and the other company also found me one with my zip code. Everything else is on the other side of my city. And if you're from Jacksonville, I'm um, pretty sure it's the biggest territory wise city in the United States of America. The other side of town is 30 minutes away. It is not close by. So pretty unhappy with that. I paid $40 per location on one 
and $35 per location on the other. So basically $750 for 20 locations. Now, however, the second company did find a location on the other side of the city, but they're all on the same street. Not all, but majority of them. I think like seven are on the same street, which is convenient, but still it's on the other side of the city. Luckily for me, I have a claw machine and an ATM machine close to that street, uh, to that boulevard. So I actually have uh, 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 I have to go there every now and then, so it's not that I'm going out of my way to go there. But for $40, if, I don't know, I have a virtual assistant, I pay her $5 an hour. I'm pretty sure for four hours, I mean for um, eight hours, which is $40, she can find me more than one location. And she can find me a location whenever I tell her to find me a location. You know, I give her my zip code and I'm like, hey, dial everybody, tattoo shops, restaurants, what have you, barber shops. Um, and now I literally, I live on this street right here. I took a right turn and the first plaza I saw, I went there, I struck a deal with the, not deal, but I installed into a, the barber shop and right next door is a restaurant I installed there as well. Also what I do, uh, maybe next time I'll tell the barber shop, but the restaurant I told him, hey guys, I have another business as well for free. I can advertise you to the end of the year. I would like to start my digital advertising like that and hopefully if I bring them customers, which is basically um, Jab Jab Punch, if you if you have read Gary Vee's book, Jab Jab Punch, uh, Crushing It, I think is the book. You need to provide to the customer, provide to the customer and then ask for something in return. So I want to give them for free advertising, uh, for free advertisement and if they get a customer back, trust me, next year they will ask me hey, how much is to advertise with you? It's going good. We had a couple customers. And if I tell them, you know, 30 bucks a month, if I bring them two customers a month, that's more than $30 that they're making. So I'm not sure that's worth it. Um, I would say if you devote eight hours of your time and you go to, let's say, four locations per hour, you know, 15 minutes from location to location, which is I think if you go to a plaza and you have five spots into a plaza, you can go through those five locations within, I don't know, 15 minutes. And if one of them says, yes, I want a machine, you want to spend more time to go setting up the machine. I would say 10 minutes to set up the machine and uh, put candy in and so on and so forth. Now, as you know, my strategy with those machines is to get my foot in the door in those businesses and after that offer my other services ATMs vending machines digital advertisement what have you with the uh, vending machine placement as far as I know the cost is $500 this is why when I do have somebody who wants vending machine I sell the contract to somebody else here local in town I have somebody who I'm working with I'm trying to work with one or two people not with ten but if they don't want the contract I put it on the you know uh, groups and Facebook but usually they go between four and five hundred. I personally sell them on lower price. I just want to get rid of them. It's not a big deal. It's just an extra money. And I don't usually actively go to look for those accounts. They just fall into my lap from, you know, I have a candy machine. That's how it, it happened with the, uh, the mechanic shop from last week's video that I described. I went to service the machine and they're like, oh, the machine is not working, which it wasn't. The coins were getting stuck. And then like, hey, do you do vending machines? Of course I do. And today I basically sold that account today. And I actually made that video yesterday. So it took me 24 hours to sell that account. We struck a deal for $400. Bam. ATMs, it's pretty expensive. And you are getting the full risk. For example, I have purchased so far one time an account. We struck a deal for $300, which is extremely low. Usually they go for $500 to $1,500. It depends what location. Barber shops go around 800 bucks. Strip clubs go around $2,000 and up. Uh, clubs go about 1000 to $1,500. So it, it's quite a bit of money. And you're taking the risk. For example, I bought a laundromat. He wanted, I think, seven dollars $800 for it. And I'm like, no, man, that's the whole risk is for me. So I'm into this laundromat for three months now. And I have not made my $300 fee that I paid yet. It's making about 50 transactions a month. I'm giving to the owner 60 cents. I'm charging to 60 and two dollars are for me. So, so far, uh, I have, I think, 120 transactions total for the last uh, three months. 
so it's not actually where's my phone ah, my phone's inside i can check it i'm gonna put on the screen how much money i've made from that account so far because i do not remember by heart but uh, it is not yet 300 dollars after paying the owner and i'm not sure if it's 300 dollars even if i don't pay the owner so think about that it's all on you it depends how big you are i think if you're very big and you have a hundred locations already maybe your time is worth more than going from location to location or hiring a virtual assistant to do that for you. For all those locating services, you can hire a virtual assistant from the Philippines, from India, from South America and pay them $5 an hour and they can dial $200, uh, $200, 200 contacts or 400 contacts a day, depending on, you know, how long you want them for four hours, six hours, for eight hours, what have you. I use a VA for my merchant services. She dials for four hours every day and she have found a few leads so far. I have not stri strike, I have not stroken, I have not stroke. I don't have a contract yet for any of those, but with the merchant services, just a side note, I already stroke two contracts, but they're on my customers that I already have something in there. For example, the bike club, I have an ATM and a coin pusher there. He wanted, and he asked me for a merchant services I provided. Another account, I have a digital ad. He asked me for merchant services, I provided. And after I get to know the owners a little bit more, I'm gonna offer all of the services I do. And if they buy it somewhere, that's great. But all in all, it depends. For me personally, I'm too small to pay $1,000 for an ATM contract. And I know what they say, oh, if it makes 300 transactions a month, it's just like two months and you're done. And after that, it's, you know, you're collecting the money. Yeah, but. How many locations do you guys have? If you, if it's any ATM owners here, how many locations do you guys have that makes 300 transactions a month and how fast did you get them? Because my best location so far, I think I mentioned in the previous video, I have two locations that make about 100 transactions a month and a third one that makes about 75. Everything else is within the 50s. So it's not amazing. Uh, so if I, if I pay $500 for a location, which is super low, I need that location to make a hundred transactions a month if two dollars are for me and the rest is for the owner. Um, so that's 200. So two and a half months to make that location worthwhile. But you don't know that unless you have a data to support that, unless there used to be an ATM there and someone can provide you with the, 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 the paper. But watch because people lie, they Photoshop pictures and they lie that there's a lot of transactions. I had an experience with that as well. Somebody wanted to sell me uh, five ATM locations and three of them were doctored. I don't know if, if that's a term. They were doctored like they were Photoshop. So all in all, for me as a small owner, my time is not worth so much yet. So I'm okay going from store to store, doing the calls for me or, and, or getting a VA while I'm doing uh, the footwork and go and store the store and I'm calling and hiring a VA it's cheaper for me than paying a thousand dollars for a uh, contract for the ATM so for me it's not worth it but maybe it's worth it for you maybe for you uh, you have a lot of uh, accounts already so your time is more valuable and another thing that is the best thing uh, from what I've heard buying somebody's existing route already is how the big boys are doing it. It's just what I've heard. I have not bought somebody's existing route yet, but but I'm yet to do that in the future maybe because they already established, they want out of the business, they want to do something else. Uh, I'm also considering selling my Orlando, Cocoa Beach or Titusville locations with the coin pusher, with the claw machine, with the ATM, because as you know, I'm trying to, I don't know if you know, but I'm trying to go for six, seven months and travel around the United States I'm gonna be making a travel vlog videos as well in a separate channel. And I'm still gonna be here and giving uh, business advice and financial advice and you know motivational videos at my experience. And my whole point is to work remotely and that's why all of my businesses are set up in a way that they're outsource outsourceable. And that's it for today's videos, guys. So depends on what you want. If you're small, do the legwork yourself, uh, grind and hustle. If you're big, maybe it makes sense for you to buy an existing uh, uh, route or a contract. But again, when you buy a contract with no data, it is all the risk is all on you. With all that said, thank you very much for watching and I hope you enjoyed the video. If you do, please help me grow this channel with a like, comment and subscribe. Why is there flies flying around me all the time? And that's that. Keep hustling, guys, and I'll see you next time.